Hi, everyone. Hey, guys. How are you doing? I hope everyone is doing awesome. I was going to say amazing, but that's Courtney's line. Amazing, <laughs> fantastic. And yes. Yes. All of the things. <laughs> so did anybody eat cookie dough while they were reading this book? Because I know I, I did. I did not. <gasps> I should have. I don't I think know. that's even allowed. I think you're going to have to go back and reread it yes. while eating some cookie dough. Exactly. Or at least like purchase the second book and then preemptively eat a lot of cookie dough to make up for it. Yes. That yeah. too. You know, I tried, someone suggested that I try to save on some calories making cookie dough with applesauce instead. It, like, I have never dough. heard of that. It's a big downer. <laughs> I also yeah. tried bananas and avocado because in theory it should like, oh, I'm sorry, not the sugar. It should replace the butter. So it like yeah. replaces the fat. But yeah, it didn't, they were just so tasteless or they tasted weird that you're like, wasn't even worth it to save the calories. Mm -hmm. You're like, no, I'd rather just rather just have the calories. Yeah, for sure. I will say, so Aaron and I, um, while people are saying hello and everything, while Aaron and I, we are sort of doing this thing where we go and we get um, pints of ice cream, right? Like different mm -hmm. types of pints of ice cream. And this has probably started like two or th two months ago. And what we do is we literally cut the pint of ice cream in half and then he gets half and then I get half. Um, tonight was the Butterfinger um, ice cream pint. And you would think that that would be good, but I was not a fan. Huh? Yeah. Mm. I've done that too, where I see like my favorite candy bars, like Reese's Pieces or mm -hmm. something else in an ice cream, like, pint. Right? and you're like, well, I mean, I like ice cream and mm -hmm. I like Snickers or Milky Way or whatever it is. Yeah. I should like this. But sometimes they just don't go together. No. Like I was, I, I did enjoy, there was a Rolo one. Oh. It was, it, and it had actually like mini Rolos that were, that had um, caramel in it. Oh. That was really, really good. The one that I am sort of like avoiding is we got like a watermelon sour patch kid one. Mm -hmm. And I just, every single time he's like, Hey, do you want to try this one? I'm just like, not yet. <laughs> not yet. I just, I don't know. I don't, I'm not really into fruity desserts. I feel like I'm okay eating fruit. Like I know it's like something you're supposed to do, but I don't want to combine it with my desserts. I'd rather have caramel or chocolate yeah. or fudge. Or, I'm I don't okay know. with like, strawberries on cheesecake. Like I'm totally fine yes. with those. I love but, that too. I don't know. I know that maybe if it tastes more like a, um, what is I know. it? It's Blizzard from Dairy Queen. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's, yeah. yeah. Always, I don't know when they put Snickers or anything else in there, it tastes magical and, but mm -hmm. it doesn't taste as good at the, from the grocery store. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know. Because the ice cream is cold, yet the candy bar is room temperature still. And so oh. they're not both frozen. And I feel like yeah. that makes a more enjoyable experience. Yeah, it's like different juxtaposition. Like, yeah. I can I can totally see that. I can totally mm -hmm. see that. So we've got people on. Um, let's see. Let's say hi to Lisa and Jan. And we've got Math. I'm always. I always say it incorrectly. I don't know what it is. Yes, it's lots of letters. <laughs> yes, there's Amber and Morgan and M. We've got Helen, Amber. Um, let's see. Oh, we've got Leslie, Ann, Ann O'Brien, Monique. We've got a ton of people tonight. Yay, Marilyn and Brooke. Morgan, I don't remember what the brand is called. My husband's the one that cut it in half, so I didn't mm. even get it out of the fridge. Um, glad you can make a live show too. Yay. Brooke, uh, totally not even halfway in the book, but I'm still reading it. I'm behind. That's okay. Judgy free mm -hmm. zone. She does not like fruity desserts either. Good. Banana makes a good <laughs> substitute for oil in baking sweets. Oh. Mm. Okay. Amber didn't finish either. Dairy Queen. Hey, what was the brand of ice cream that we had tonight? Nestle. Okay. Mm. Um. Oh, Mary Lou. I know. I, I was. 
I'm in my head. <laughs> All right. And Ivy, you're not late. You're fine. You're fine. All right. Sorry. Aaron came in because he was like messing with something. And I was like, <laughs> this is a good opportunity to be like, hey, what was that? ice cream? We should know all the ice cream brands. And I've declared that I'm no longer going to eat low fat ice cream either because it's just not as satisfying. And like, yeah. what's the point? Yeah. I mean, you might as well go all the way, right? Yeah. Exactly. I mean, and then I end up eating more of it actually because I don't get as satisfied. Mm -hmm. I think I don't know what's going on, but yeah, like I didn't even finish all of the ice cream. Oh, it doesn't even have like a a brand. It's just oh, Butterfinger. Like I'm, when I say we we cut it in half, I yeah, mean, we literally we definitely did cut it in half. Yeah, it just it's Butterfinger brand. Thanks, mm. babe. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it the uh, never tried that one. Blue Ball, a Blue Bell makes an amazing Butterfinger ice cream. Well, maybe I'm gonna have to try that. Uh, Mary Lou, I just finished the book just before eight, cutting it really close. <laughs> I, I, I tend to do the same thing. I think I finished, I did finish it, I think a day or two ago, which was early for me because normally I'm right, right mm -hmm. on the cusp. So That's better. Cause you remember everything. Yeah. I try to, you. I try to remember a lot more though. You take notes. I should probably I take notes, but I don't because I am way too impatient to take mm -hmm. notes. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, it's funny because I, my first job ever at General Electric, they like, so they do this 360 feedback and my feedback was always like, you take too many notes. Like, <laughs> they're like, we're all like, are you listening to us? Cause you keep taking notes. I'm like, yes, I'm listening and I'm recording it. Obviously I'm listening because I'm taking <laughs> notes. Like, but That's yeah, every time I think about that, like I remember for the rest of my career at GE, I wasn't allowed to take notes because it was like, they were like, you're not doing active listening. So now that I no longer work there, I'm like, I'm going to take notes all the time. Yeah. Take all the notes. Cause I, cause you, cause you write down things that I totally forget about it. Like, so, oh, the little details. Yeah. Yeah. The little details. So while, uh, Lisa and I sort of, um, uh, give the general gist of the mm -hmm. book. What were your guys's ratings on a scale of one to five? I did sneak and I looked at the other Lisa's ratings. I think hers always show up first in my Goodreads. So yes. I like this. I love, I love her. She, she, she's absolutely fantastic, but I, yeah, I love the, um, I love seeing how different our ratings are when it comes to all of the, all of the cozies. Cause they can, they can be vastly different. Yeah. Sometimes they're way off and then sometimes they're like just in sync. <laughs> exactly. Like last month, all, all of us were pretty much in sync when we it came love to that book. the book. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So do you want to start or would you, would you like me to start? I mean, I'll do a quick reclap because I didn't really yeah. like it that much. So here's my yeah. recap because I yeah. wasn't a big fan of this book. Basically, yeah. she owns a gingerbread. It's called the Gingerbread Cookie House, and they have cookie cutters. And supposedly, there's these expensive cookie cutters. So, of course, I Googled it. There's no such thing as expensive cookie cutters. Like, supposedly, what? there's a thousand. I couldn't find any at auction houses or Sotheby's or anywhere else. I was, like, looking. I don't know. I saw in the comments, too, other people in Goodreads were like, I don't understand how these cookie cutters are worth so much. Anyways, I, I digress. So she owns the cookie cutter place. There is a very wealthy woman who supposedly has a huge collection of cookie cutters. She turns up dead. And then at the will reading, which doesn't happen to like forever into the book, then finally we find out that the woman left her a ton of money as well as her cookie cutter collection. Now the family obviously is still alive and talks to her and they were like, hey, give us the cookie cutter collection, right? Mm -hmm. And they're like, we want some of that money too. And so she's like, I don't know if I want to give you the cookie cutter collection. And then also her death is ruled a suicide, but she does some investigating because she doesn't really believe it's a suicide and the whole family gets involved. And, you know, I won't spoil, if you want to sum up the rest, that was basically the whole yeah. gist of the book. Yes. So, so, so the gist of the book, Olivia Grayson, she went through a big divorce and she decided that she is no longer going to be gaslit by her ex-husband. And she starts the gingerbread house with her best friend, um, Maddie. Maddie was my favorite character. I loved her quirky, like creativeness. I really mm -hmm. enjoyed her. Um, Olivia also has a very eccentric mother who is very, very tiny, petite, and is sort of uh, Olivia's um, uh, 
like ear to gossip for the whole town to like sort of figure out what she missed whenever she left the town um, to go to college and everything. And when she gives, goes through the divorce with her ex-husband, um, the woman that is killed, Clarice, actually becomes sort of like a confidant and um, someone she looks up to in business and helps her sort of start her business. So I guess they get really, really, really close which is why when Clarice passes, she, uh, Olivia has left things in the will. She's left $150,000 and th the $30,000 cookie collection. And Olivia doesn't believe that Clarice has committed suicide because of how strong-willed of a person she is. And so she decides that she's going to do the investigating and she finds a whole bunch of different things in um, Clarice's son's past. Um, for some reason, uh, Clarice doesn't necessarily want to give the businesses up to her sons. She doesn't quite trust them. And we find out that Clarice might have a grandchild. And this might be the reason why Clarice was murdered. Um and it, I feel like that wasn't very obvious, though. Did you like it? Like, no. Jasmine and then Jasmine's BFF, his name Faith. And then she suddenly comes up and then she's dead. And then, like, yes, the there was a lot of them. I feel like that could have been, I feel like the first murder in the book shouldn't have been Clarice. I feel like that maybe should have been the second murder, like mm -hmm. in the next book in the series, because then you could have maybe gotten like a little hint about her son's past in book one and just little things that dropped. And then in book two, Clarice is killed and then everything sort of tied back together better or at yeah, least for I, sure. Cause we didn't yeah. even hear it. Like she has to go to her mom and she's like, who's this Jasmine girl? And yeah. she's like, Oh, Jasmine was this really pretty girl that was dating the other son, but the mom didn't approve. And so they sent her, she like disappeared and you're like, wait, what? And then mm -hmm. at the same time too, when I read that, I was like, who cares? Whatever. Right. Yeah. I didn't realize that was like the whole point of the plot. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like there was at one time I was thinking Bertha might be the killer, which was mm -hmm. Clarice's um, maid. And then at another point I thought maybe the lawyer was the killer because he had been a part of the family for a really, really long time and knew a lot of like the finances and aspects of that. But um, finally we end up finding out that um one of, or actually, we have a very Snoopy mail carrier as well. And who, he's kind of creepy, right? Very creepy. Yeah. I was not, I was not a fan of of him. He, he, he was off putting. Um, but he ends up getting hurt, um, going into almost a diabetic coma, DKA, um, and uh, it, <laughs> excuse me, it causes, um. Olivia to sort of look into it even more like who was he talking to? She might mm -hmm. even have thought that it would have been one of the brothers um, fiance who ended up being his wife. And there was a lot of different aspects that were going back and forth. But yeah, that was his alibi that he, they were getting married, but they didn't want to yes. tell anyone because she had just died. And so that made well, and Clarice suspicious. didn't, she wasn't a fan of, um, was it Tammy? Was that, that, was that her name? I think so. But by this time, I mean, he's like, how old is he? Like, who cares what your mom thinks? <laughs> like, it's right? been so long. No, but the reason why they did care is because Clarice threatened to take him out of the will. Oh, right. Tammy Deacon. Which, which also gave him a um, a reason to might want to off his mom. And mm -hmm. so Tammy was looked at as a suspect. And then he was looked at as a suspect. And lo and behold, for those that have finished it, um, the killer was the other brother. Was it Edward? Uh, yeah. So, it, for yeah, Edward killed everybody. <laughs> yes. Yes. And he seemed to be very antisocial. And he was the, the, the brother that had a really good business head, but, like, was not personable or easy to talk to or anything like that. Um mm -hmm. I feel like, yeah, there was a lot. Like, so we also found that he killed Jasmine because both the yep. brothers were in love with her. She was in love with the older brother. Um, 
and that's who she got pregnant by. And then Edward wanted to sort of scare her off and then go and be the hero to rescue her when he found out that she was pregnant. Mm -hmm. And it was kind of convoluted. Um, but yeah, that it was, was extremely like we don't even find out till the very, very last after everyone's been arrested. Finally, then it gets explained. I think that was like I was like, oh, I could have never yeah. figured this out like ever. <laughs> no, there would not have been a very, very easy way to to figure it out at all. So you know, what I was hoping when I heard that it was like Clarice was wealthy and then she had these two like obviously sons that didn't want to go out and make their own money. I was thinking like, maybe this will be a fun, cozy mystery spin on the Menendez brothers, right? That murdered oh. their parents for the money, but they yeah. didn't do that. <laughs> no. So no. that would have been, that would have been a cool twist though. Yeah. If maybe they were like in on it together and like playing the good guy, bad guy. Yeah. But um, if we met tomorrow, I think I could have finished. I'm so sorry, Amber. I have to be oh. in Oklahoma City for a conference, and there would have been no way that I would have been able to be finished uh by with my conference in time to do the book club. And I wanted to hang out with you guys. Yeah. Um, let's see. Annie says she takes notes too. Hey. Um, <laughs> let's see. Mary Lou said four stars, Jane said three. Um, so close said a four star read, KJ four stars, Helen four stars, and four. Um, I'm at a four for the first 50 pages, says Brooke. Marilyn four stars. I wasn't able to get a copy of the book, so I'm so excited to hear about the summary. Um, four stars from Lisa. Minority here. Honestly, this is now on my DNF. Mine is a one and a half, two star. See, you're not alone, Lisa. Yeah, I'm right there with you, Leslie. <laughs> yeah. Um, so far, I think I'm three fourths for where I am. I didn't realize how interested I would become in the vintage cookie cutters. Yeah, I thought that it was really, really cool. Um, but now that I know that maybe they're not like as as like unique or something. I looked online and they said that there was the the hand in the heart that's supposedly worth a thousand dollars. However, there was a million. It's literally just a hand, like a chicken, a turkey hand inside yeah. of a heart. I didn't understand. So there's a million knockoffs for like fifty cents, and then yeah. the other collection that I thought might be worth something is the branded ones, like Mickey Mouse and stuff. Not the case either. Same thing. It said maybe hmm. the um, who's who's the woman? I can't. I just forgot her name. The blonde who is the homemaker that is super popular. Oh, goodness. The one that went to jail. What did oh, I uh, Martha Stewart. Martha Stewart. I just blanked on her name. Yeah, they said maybe the Martha Stewart cookie cutters were worth a lot, but those two are very affordable. They're $1.50 or $3.50. Hmm, that's good to know. Uh, Monique said four stars. M said three stars. I don't know how expensive we're talking, but years ago, Martha Stewart used to sell some fairly expensive copper cookie cutters. Copper would be very expensive just in general. Um, Are we not supposed to use copper because it's poisonous? I don't think that's that that it's copper. There's another type. I of mean, metal. lead is poisonous, but yes. I thought copper was also poisonous. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. Um, Maddie is a hoot. I really liked Maddie. Oh, sorry, Ivy. Um, I liked Ellie in the banter with Dell. Yes, I thought that 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 the ban that the banter between her and him were really good. Marilyn, oh, thank you. Um, Spunky was adorable. I did like the dog, but I mean, mm -hmm. how could you not like a, the, right. the dog of the book? Like, I mean, come on. Um, I do agree with Courtney. I would have given the book five stars if Jasmine's murder had occurred first and the story of the grandchild had come out in the first book and then Clarice's murder in the second book. Like that would have been mm -hmm. like yes. on point, like a really, really good lead through. I would have really, I would have really enjoyed that. Mm -hmm. totally. um, not enough clues to figure it out on our own. Mm -hmm. Um, We never found out why Hugh waived the interest fees on Lucas's loan. You did not miss that. I have no idea why he waived the loan, uh, the loan fee. Did anybody else? Um, I have like, no notes on that. Yeah, because you're you're totally right, KJ. I have no idea why why he waived that. Um, 
did not finish, ran out of time, but is anyone going to continue with the series? Um, I don't know. There's a lot of series on my plate that I have to get to, but I wouldn't be opposed to reading the second book in the series. Mm. Um, go ahead. I mean, they didn't really close the loop either with the Ryan thing. I think that was the other thing. I didn't really feel sorry for the character. She's like, oh, I feel so bad that I'm such a pretty, beautiful, thin woman who's arm candy. It's not fair. I guess yeah. I'm just going to have to live the rest of my life as a pretty woman. <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> yes, yeah, th 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 there was that aspect. Yeah. But I, I was very happy that she stuck up to him in like when he tried to come to the house. Oh, when he like, brought part flowers. of me wanted to know what he wanted. But then the other part of me was like, good for you, girl. Good for <laughs> you. Uh, Leslie, glad I'm not alone in, li in not liking this book. Um the friendship felt really real to me. Yeah, the Maddie friendship, like, I, I really enjoyed that. I read that they only suspected it, but Maddie said they didn't. Oh, suspected the cut in the loans? Um, mm. Oh, yeah, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. I Maybe I glossed over that part. Um, I'm the same. A lot of my series on my Goodreads, so I don't know if I'll get to this one. Yeah, there's just so many cozies to read and not enough time. Seriously, Ivy is correct. Don't know. My TBR is exploding. I mm. I couldn't agree more. I There were so many books that I, that, and I just purchased four more books in the past like two days. Like I just, I have, I have no, no self-control. None. Are you doing books? Are you not purchasing audiobooks? Um, so I do, I did purchase an audiobook as well. And so then five books. So how do you make the decision when you see the book and you're like, mm -hmm. I want to read this? How do you decide which format to get? So sometimes I'm really bad at getting both. So like I'll get it on Kindle and then I'll also get it on audiobook. Do they and give you a discount when you do that? They do. So if okay. you get if you get the Kindle book, they also give you a big discount on the audiobook as well. Mm. So you can and you'll get be able to do the whisper sync with your Kindle. So mm -hmm. it will read out loud and keep in. So like if I stop in my car on a certain chapter and I open up my Kindle, it'll open in the same spot that I stopped on the audiobook. Okay. So that's super, super nice. Um but then there's also like, I also still buy physical books. Like right now I'm reading several people typing at the same time. It's like this really, really weird uh, book that is written from like Slack forums, which is just huh. all chat. And it's, it, it's blowing my mind. I'm really, really into it right now. Like I was reading it up to like three minutes before the live stream started. Very cool. Is it a mystery or a drama? So it's sort of it's sort of this mystery, but it's also very sort of out of this world. That this guy who works for like a PR firm is sucked into the Slack mainframe, and nobody is believing him that he's just stuck in the mainframe because everybody's working from home due to <laughs> um, this big storm that's going on. And he's like, "No, guys, I really am. Like, I'm stuck in Slack," and they're like. Ha ha ha, big joke, yada, yada, yada. You're just trying to continue working from home. I'm only like 70 or 80 pages into it, but mm -hmm. it's highly entertaining. And mm -hmm. it's fun jumping into the different channels and chats that people are having. It's a lot of fun. Cool. But sometimes you need like a palate cleanser book between, oh, for sure. between cozy <laughs> mysteries. So that's what that's what I'm doing right now. Um. We've got Lisa. I do plan to read the next book in the series sometime in the future. So many cozies, so little time. True. Chrissy says, as a general rule, you don't want to cook acidic sauces like tomato in cast iron pans. Is that what you were thinking of, Lisa? Oh, no. I was actually just thinking of straight up poison. I thought yeah, like copper, copper was poisonous. But, you know, yeah. I guess people have copper pipes. So, maybe I think I'm wrong. Yeah, Maybe. And, but I, I think there is like a metal that used to be used quite often and then is no longer used. Yeah, I feel like it's lead. Lead I'm for sure. sure it's lead because there used to be, well, there used to be lead painted toys mm. for children that got that got banned. So, all right. We also have, Carrie, this seems like a popular series. I wonder why this was not audiobook. 
Oh, I didn't know it was an audiobook. I think that can, ha I've heard that happen sometimes. Like maybe you sell the audio rights to somebody that never ends up producing it or mm -hmm. the audio rights are sold to the author, but they don't want to put out the money to get them produced. Cause it's like, okay. I think my book was only like 52 or 54,000 words and that was 1500. Um, okay. So you figure these are probably like 2,500. Yeah, at least because most cozies range between like traditional cozy 70 to 80,000 words. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Helen Boyle just ordered the second one. Wow. Monique, I think I will read more in the series. I love decorating cookies. So that part of the book was really interesting to me. I do love the baking aspect. That was super cool. Um, the book was published in 2011. Olivia had a flip phone in the book. I know I kind of <laughs> rolled my eyes. Oh, and then, um, when, like, speaking of like cozies dating themselves sometimes one part of the book, she was talking about how she really needed to get caller ID on her cell phone or on her <laughs> home phone. And I was just like, I'm like, that just, that just hundred percent dated, dated right. the book right then and there. After um, she watches a movie on her VHS. <laughs> right? Seriously. Uh, decorating cookies is fun. I got cravings for sugar cookies. Very mm. much so. For me, it can depend on the... Sorry. It can depend on the narrator. My sister is texting me. I just put on Do Not Disturb. I'm so sorry. You're popular. <laughs> for me, it can depend on the narrator. If I like their voices, then I might listen instead of reading. Mm. Yeah. There has been a couple of like books that I'm really dragging on. Like, for example, I was reading um, Pride and Prejudice um, a couple mm -hmm. of months ago, and the physical book was dragging for me. So mm -hmm. then I uh, downloaded the audiobook on Libby, and the narrators, it was a full cast. That made it so much more interesting, and I could really pick up the old English sayings and things like that with context clues because of how they were saying them versus mm. reading them that way. So right. it really does depend on the, the type of book it is for me. Yeah. I a hundred percent always do audiobook, And then if it's not available, I'm like, is the Kindle book available? So I can listen to it on Alexa. There you and go. then if not, I'm like, I probably won't read this book ever. That makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> Lisa says there are a total of six books in this series. The series finished in 2015. So I guess it's, mm. if, if you want a series where you're not having to wait for the next one to come out, this is a good series to pick up. Right. I love to buy the first in a series. I find that they can go out of print quite quickly and then I can't get them. Sometimes the readers in cozies are not my favorite. I love the reader in the, in last months. Yeah. I mm. feel like it depends on who you get for the audiobook like reader whoever is the narrator of it like can make or break a book for me anyway i'm not too worried about the narrator i just feel like there's a mismatch sometimes when the main character is 21 22 and then the narrator i can clearly tell they're 55 or so, just yes. they're i don't know how oh, yeah. i can tell even no, though you can tell your voice doesn't really get older right <laughs> I don't know. But I think it does. Like, I, I, it gets, to me, I think it gets maybe grittier. Mm -hmm. Like, not necessarily like it gets deeper or anything, but like, like I feel like, I feel like it gets like, it gets like grittier or it, it, it sort of ages. Like, I feel like it does. Yeah. Maybe you're right. Cause it, like 22 year olds sound very different than 40 or 60 year olds. Well, and even, so I started this channel in my mid twenties. And if I go back and I listen to myself then, and I listen to myself now, my voice has changed. So uh, hmm. yeah, I don't know. Uh, Amber Scott, I love that feature you talked about, Courtney, that would be so helpful with driving kids and then being able to pick it up where I left off. Yeah, it is a very, very nice feature to be able to have. One of the, like, I I love having my Kindle that way because I have my Kindle Oasis. I have the app on my, on my MacBook, on my phone. And then if I got the audiobook, everything is synced. So it doesn't matter if I open my laptop, my iPad, my Kindle, my phone, like everything is synced and it makes it really nice. 
Did you upgrade your Oasis? Because did you see, like, I bought my Oasis like three years ago, and then I saw that they were saying it was extinct and we should get the new one, which the only new feature I saw that it had was that it had like a yellowing light. Yeah, which I'm not a fan of the yellowing light, so I did mm -hmm. not upgrade to to that one. I I I will cry if they ever stop having the buttons for the oh, on the side the, on the side. Like the, I know that, and I was I was actually having this conversation with a coworker of mine because she's going to Europe in December, and she's like, I want to buy a Kindle. And she was like, which one should I buy? And I was like, well, I love the Oasis. She goes, but you can just tap on the screen. Mm. I was like, it's not the same. Yeah. I'm a tactile person. And if I can't flip the page, then I want to click a button. And I love that I can turn it upside down and turn to my yeah. side and click. And it's just easier. I agree with you. I do like the click. But this mm -hmm. is the only Kindle I've ever had. I just bought the Oasis and I never had anything before. But I've heard other people are like, they're annoyed. Yeah. With the I had the... I had the one before I had just a regular paper white mm -hmm. and I just wasn't a fan of that motion. And then when I saw that the Oasis had the buttons, I, I haven't looked back and it's been so fantastic. Yeah. Chrissy says, I found out that WhisperSync also works with library books if you download them via Kindle. So I bought mm -hmm. an Audible book, but also have the ebook from Libby and it's syncing between them. Girl, that just blew my mind. That makes me so freaking happy. I had no idea. Thank you. Um, Preach, Lisa, that drives me crazy. Your voice gets a little deeper as you age. I sing in choir and can't hit the same note. <laughs> Luckily, I have no singing abilities or talent, so I will never feel sad about my yeah. <laughs> growing voice. Yeah. My son just has to get used to it. I love singing and, you know, screaming in the car with my with my music, so he's just going to have to live with it. I do like doing car karaoke when I'm alone. Oh, like, yeah. It's blasting the music, singing so in the top of your lungs. Yes. Yeah. I have to check this out. Sounds like Oasis has nice features. It really does. I I, I love the Oasis. Is that um, the only thing that's special? I only bought the Oasis because I was like, I don't have time to research. It's the most expensive. I'm going to just assume it's the best. Yeah. And that's I was I looking it. at them. The Oasis has a lot of, like, a lot of different features that I, I should just have this off the top of my head because I literally just looked up all of these. Oh. Um, <laughs> but I, the Kindle Oasis is just, it's just so nice. Right now they have the, adjustable warm light which the warm light doesn't matter to me um mm -hmm. it is a, a waterproof as well um and it has um it's it's wider base and it's ergonomically made for your hand the rest of the like the kindle um like my husband actually had to 3d print a holder so that it was easier for him to hold his kindle while reading in bed whereas the oasis has that little bump Oh um, yeah, super super easy to read on on there. KJ, how did you both rate the book? I rated it a four stars. Oh, I gave it a two stars. Yes. Um, I like the voice on Kindle for the text to voice features. She has a British accent. Hmm. I don't think I've I I know I've never that listened to it. Another thing that the Kindle Oasis has versus like my husband's Paperwhite is mm -hmm. it does have a Bluetooth. It can Bluetooth to your headphones and you can actually listen to your audiobook on the Kindle Oasis. I've actually never done that because I always, my I first either. thing is to go to my phone or my iPad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I haven't played with it either, but we were, we almost had like a war of the Kindles during our um, trip to Alabama. Like mm -hmm. he was like, I can fit mine in my back pocket. And I was like, that's not fair. Girls don't have real pockets. Yeah. Like, Who'd like we were anything just, in their back pocket. <laughs> right. Like we were just going back and forth. It was, it was funny. Um, Let's see. We are all asking for the Oasis for the holidays. It, <laughs> I, I really enjoy it. Can you even buy our older version or can you only buy the new one with the yellow light? I think you can only buy the old one with the yellow light. The um, new one you mean with the yellow or, light. Yeah, the new one with the with the yellow light. Like, I don't know mm -hmm. if I go to my past orders in Amazon. Let's see if it even allows me to, um, to like maybe reorder it. But I don't think it will because um, mine's a 27 or 2019 
and it's not even it's not even coming up with me to like oh. repurchase it. Yeah. But you can turn off the warm light. You don't have to have it on. It's just an option. Um I just have a paperweight. These features sound awesome. They really are nice. We're turning this into a buy a Kindle Oasis. <laughs> yeah. If only we made affiliate income from the Kindle. Right. Because right. they're pricey. I think my, I feel yeah. like I paid like $379 for it, right? This one, um, right now, because of course I have it. I have oh, it the newest one. Yeah, I do. Uh it's two forty nine. Okay, right so maybe now. I two forty seven. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, but that's just for the eight gig. If you want the thirty two gig oh, that's right. one, space. that's that's two eighty. You don't even need the space, isn't that crazy? Like, yeah. I, I mean, I wish I could go back and buy whatever has the least amount of space. <laughs> yeah, I mean, because they're so small, like mm -hmm. the um, the books. I'm thinking of asking Santa for the Oasis. <laughs> Oasis is going on the Christmas list. I mean, I bet they'll be on sale for Black Friday. Yeah, it has to be. They have to do that. Mm -hmm. You can Bluetooth an audiobook on the new Paperwhite, too. That's that's good to know. My husband's um, Paperwhite is at least five years old. Mm -hmm. um, I've been told to get an Oasis. I, I love my Oasis. I just, I just do. And I always, mine's in my bedroom right now, but it has a cute kitty cover and everything. Yeah. Nice. Well, do we, uh, we have a winner for November. Oh, yes. We have a new book. <laughs> yes, we do. Um, I think it was the Jen. It's, yeah, the Jen McKinley Library Lovers book, which I actually already read. Um, Books can be deceiving. Yes, that's it. It's a pretty big series. I think they have a lot of books in that series. So if you like it, there are tons of more no. books to keep going. I'm trying to type in November's book choice in the thing to let everybody have it. And my finger slipped. <laughs> um, it's gonna be there we go. Yeah, which it sounds super awesome. I'm so excited about uh, November's um, theme. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amber. You should become affiliates for Amazon. You know what's funny? I am an affiliate for Amazon and I have so many products and so many things that I used to push out. Like this is going back circa six years ago. And literally my Amazon income is like $2.12 yeah. <laughs> for the whole year. Most, <laughs> most of the links under my videos. So whenever you click on a link for a book, that is an Amazon affiliate link, which I let you guys know. But I think that, I think that every like five or six months I get like a, a Kindle gift card for like $15. Oh, that's actually pretty huge. Yeah. <laughs> I get like, I don't think I've broken $4 ever. Yeah. But I always talk about like all of my, all of my, uh, all of my books, like I might, I might talk about 10 or 15 books. And so people go down below and they, 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 they click on the links, which is nice. Hmm. It feeds my book addiction. Very nice. Yes. Yes. Um, let's see. Uh, I like my paper white, but I might consider upgrading. I won my kiddo from a Kindle from a book riot oh, giveaway. Nice. That's cool. KJ excited for November's book. Yes, November's book choice. I actually read the second book in this series this month, but I haven't read this the first oh. one yet. Good to good to know. I like when you guys link book recommendations. You should get something. Thank you. Well, I don't even bother anymore. You can replace all of mine with your affiliate links. <laughs> I don't, I'm too lazy. People are like, I used yeah. your affiliate link. I'm like, wasn't an affiliate link. I just don't even bother. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I remember to do it. And then other times I don't remember to do it. And then I'm like, mm -hmm. I'm like, well, you know, maybe. Yeah. What else? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm just happy to talk about some books. Right. All right. All right. Well, um, I think we covered everything, right? Yeah. I think I think we did. So, a couple announcements. Um, yes. Buddy Read choices are going up a week from today. Yay. Okay. 
Good to know. The buddy reads start in January. That's for VIP. Uh, and that'll be on Discord. So you won't have to show up live. You won't have to worry about scheduling. It'll be for like the whole first quarter. That This way it's like asynchronous. I think that's the right term. Yes, it is. Come and go, go whenever you want. Yes, yes. And then the second announcement is VIP. The monthly live stream is going to be next Wednesday. Yes, so next what? Wednesday. And we are coming up with um, all different kinds of things. If you guys... Uh, want to look at VIP. If you guys know some of my um, some of my videos where I've been doing the uh, the pseudonym challenge where I've been going through and finding authors that have written under like five different pseudonyms. So those videos will still always be up on my channel for everyone, but I've been making these handout, <laughs> excuse me, checklists where they are really, really cute and fun and you can actually print them out and check them off as you read them and you can keep up mm -hmm. with the authors and all of their series and stuff. Yes. And you're also making the seasonal uh, VIP checklist as well. Yes. So I thought that we thought that would be really, really fun to create sort of like a seasonal bucket list, like a cozy seasonal bucket list. And so we um, made one for fall for the VIPs. And then um, I'm starting to get stuff ready for the the winter VIPs mm -hmm. as well. Yay. And don't forget this weekend. Is it this weekend or next weekend? Next weekend is when we set the clocks back, right? Next weekend, yes. No, it's my favorite day of the year. Yeah. Like, See, you get an extra hour. And, and I like it, except now that I have a 14 month old, he doesn't know that it's daylight saving. <laughs> right. So, like, his normal bedtime of like seven is going to be like six, and his normal wake up time of like 5 30 is going to be like 4 30. And it's going to be mass confusion. <laughs> it is. It's going to be super, super mass confusion. Um, we've got some people uh, talking. Um, I want a book from a giveaway from them. I've been thinking about reading November's book for a bit. Guess next time is the time for it. Fantastic. Um, I'm so excited about Buddy Reads. Looking forward to the Buddy Reads. All of the Kindle devices are on sale oh. right now. Ooh, okay. Good to know. Oh, how much is the level for Buddy Reads? So that's all under our VIP. So it's $10 a month. But you get a ton, you get everything that the uh, best friend group gets, plus everything that's free for the book club. And then you get all of the other things. Yeah, VIP, how can you be a part? Just go to the Patreon and we have everything on the Patreon page as well. Mm -hmm. Children do not respect daylight savings time. You are 100% <laughs> correct, Brooke. 100% yeah, correct. Lucky's going to be very upset because his kitty times are going to be off. Do you want to <laughs> explain what the buddy reads are? Oh, sure. So buddy reads are basically where you and a friend agree to read a book together. Mm -hmm. However, I feel like I always say this, like Courtney and I have exactly the same reading speeds but we do not have the same reading availability, mm -hmm. right? So her time is way more compressed than mine. I can just spend whatever time I want reading. There's nobody who's waiting for me to feed him or put him to bed or do anything else. So yes. this is why I thought Buddy Reads, we could do it as a group and we could do it on Discord. So it is asynchronous. Asynchronous. <laughs> and you're then fine. you're fine. Yeah, you can just jump in the conversation or jump out of the conversation. And this way, we all are reading the same book for month one, two, and three. So January, we'll read book one in a series. February, we'll read book two. And March, we'll read book three. So then we can like follow a series for a whole quarter. Yeah, and really see how you you might really like a series. And then because sometimes you get just a little bit of a taste of a series with regular book club. But you don't necessarily know, like, do I really like these characters? Do I not? Mm -hmm. And then with Discord, it's really fun. Like, you can even break, like, chapters one through three into a section in Discord. And so then you won't get any spoilers like you might have gotten with Book Club here because you didn't get to finish the book. Mm -hmm. You can just click on the channel for January's book or chapters one through three and then go and type in, like, what you're thinking there. And you can see other people's thoughts and then not get spoiled for the rest of the book. And it's just, it's very easy to go in and out of. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you can set up extra channels. Like I might set up an extra channel for chocolate. I don't know. Yeah. Or recipes or yeah. like just saying <laughs> different things like that. Brooke, the bookmarks are so much fun. I've been printing and laminating them. 
How nice. If you take any pictures on Instagram, please tag yeah, me. Yeah, that would be amazing. I would, I would love to see that. I would love it. But I think that I think that, that wraps it up. All right. Well, thanks so much for coming. Yeah, guys, we we love your faces and we're so excited to you guys are so amazing. We have the best people in the whole entire world mm -hmm. for book club. You guys make sure you are subscribed. And um, remember, if you don't want to uh, you, like you don't want to go for the VIP book club is still 100 percent free on Patreon. So mm -hmm. you can go and look there. Uh, Amy, love your earrings. Oh, thank you. These are actually from Target. I think they were like $7.99. Very cute. Yes. Yes. But I think that that wraps it up for book club for today. And then we'll see the VIP members for the live stream next week. Mm -hmm. Yep. Bye, everyone. Bye. <laughs>